Yeah, uh, Mike is joining us this morning to talk about that. We're obviously, earlier we're talking about uh, melanoma awareness, but um, we've got to mention this Correct. story as well, Mike. Well, right, and uh, and luckily we have the good doctor with us who could uh, talk about it. Uh, May is Melanoma Awareness Month, and we're talking about skin cancer uh, here at the Art of Skin MD in Solana Beach. Uh, but we're talking to Dr. Uh, Melanie Palm uh, about uh, Angelina Jolie's circumstance. Uh, does this surprise you that she actually uh, did the double mastectomy just as a precaution? No, you know, breast cancer is pretty common. One in eight women is actually affected by it, but she has a genetic... A, an actual gene that's causing it. It's usually the BRCA gene, either one or two. And if you have that gene, there's about an 85% chance as an older adult that you're going to get either breast cancer or ovarian cancer. Males in the family can actually get breast cancer and the prostate can be affected. So it's definitely sort of a preventative measure. And in counseling these days, sometimes it's a choice that's very common among women that know they're going to be faced with breast cancer. So she was faced with an 85% chance in, in her uh, estimation, and she just went ahead and did it. Uh, are, do, do a lot of women do that and men? I, I mean, I think it's sort of a personal choice. You know, usually patients, if they're diagnosed with that, they've gone through genetic testing and they're, they sit down with their counselor and their physician to decide what they're going to do. But I think many people take the perspective of, you know, I'm going to be affected by it. It's a particularly aggressive form of breast cancer, and I want to do something before it actually happens to nip it in the bud. And you said uh, 80, the people who have this gene, 85% uh, risk of, of getting the cancer. And But after the, uh, the procedure, that goes way, way down. Exactly. I mean, if you remove the breast tissue, you're removing the tissue that can actually go bad. So with a double mastectomy, of course, you know, your chance of actually getting breast cancer is much decreased. And then there's also conversations about what do you do with the ovaries or other organs that can actually be affected by it. Mm. So that's definitely a conversation, frequent screening for these patients, and quick follow-up with the patients after treatment. Okay. And we're talking about screenings uh, in another way also here. At the uh, Art of Skin MD, uh, there's a, a, a program a fundraising uh, party coming up uh, this weekend but uh, during that on Saturday free cancer screenings for melanoma which is uh, it's melanoma awareness month yeah. so I know I'm the cancer doc today so one in five Americans is actually affected by skin cancer that's why it's the most for common form of cancer there is mm -hmm. so that's why we really want to get the public out I'm offering free skin cancer screenings along with three other dermatologists this Saturday from 11 to 3 at Art of Skin MD you just have to call us up 858-792-7546 or on our website artofskinmd.com you can find the info great and the event is called Soul Search Health Expo it's uh, it's Saturday May 18th the Beachwalk Center here on Highway 101 in Solana Beach. Those are the fancy uh, machines that uh, Dr. Melanie uses. All right, uh, we're going to come back. We're going to take you around uh, this place, uh, show you what it's all about. Maybe you want to be a part of uh, the expo, uh, all about melanoma, melanoma, skin cancer awareness, and uh, other things happening here this weekend. Send it back to you. Including, Mike, a, a juice bar that's doing a special juicing cleanse for melanoma awareness. Did you find out about that yet? Well, no, because uh, I, I know you're, uh, I know where you're coming from, yeah. Alexis, because I think you're having a conversation with young Sarah over here, are you not? Uh, and, and I wish you would include me sometimes on your conversations. Hi, yeah, Sarah they, they do the social media thing. I'm still using an abacus. Ask her about the Juice Nation green juicing thing. You'll love it. I'll ask her coming up next time. Okay. Oh, my goodness. There's nothing else in the world but juicing, apparently. All right. Thanks, Mike.